Hi, some months ago you may remember that I showed in a video how to make this card with the background and then this decorative cutout that went on top. I'll try and remember to put a link under this video to the video showing how to do this if you've not already seen it. But today I'm going to show you how to make a variation using a number and a different font. So I'm just going to close all this down and get rid of this. So this is the file that I've made and the font that I'm using today is another font from dafont.com. So if you come to dafont.com, it's in the dingbats and I think it's under animals, but if in the search box here on the top right you put make your own pets and then search, it should come up. And it's this font here, so I'll just click on it. And all that's in this font are these five designs, A, B, C, D and E. So I used the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter and I think I just used A, B, C and D. And there's a, a video about how to use the Type Converter on my channel in the Fonts playlist. So I'm not going to go into how you do all that in this video, but it's just to show you that this is the font I've used. So I'm just going to delete these other designs and just put the rabbit on one side and then this card on one side just to remind me how I did it. But basically I'm going to come to the um, tabs on the left hand side, I'm going to come into the text, I used the font that is the top right hand corner which is Brussels Demi, double click to expose the cursor, highlight the text and then I type to number four. Now, as you can see, this number four, when it's selected, says that it's three inches high and nearly one and a half inches wide. That isn't the case. That's the size of the bounding box. So I'm not particularly bothered about the size at, at this for this video. But if you want to size this exactly, with this selected, just right click and hit divide. And then when you next click on the number, it will put the bounding box directly around the outside of your number. And you can now see that it's actually only one and a half inches high by just over an inch wide. So I'm just going to drag it out at the moment. It's about just over three and a half by three. Then I'm going to bring the rabbit on. I'll just bring it in a bit nearer. So first thing I want to do is size the rabbit so that it sits on my number here. So I'm just going to drag a corner and shrink it down by eye until I think it looks about right. I'll zoom in. So I think it kind of looks in proportion to the actual number. So that looks okay. Now, as with the letter S card I made some time ago, you need a shape that it is in lines, not a solid shape. And by that, I mean, if I just zoom in on his face, you'll see here that there's like double lines. So if I right click with this selected and ungroup, you'll now see that there's all blue bounding boxes around all these various shapes that make up this rabbit. I'm just going to zoom back to map for now. Just go a little bit bigger. So what you want to do, you first of all want the outside of the rabbit. Now it's not necessarily always easy to get a hold of, so you may have to zoom in. You want to click on a part but when you click on it, you want a bounding box around the complete perimeter of your shape. Now I've clicked on there and I've just got this middle section. If I click on here, I've got like his little cheap bits. So I'm trying to click on the outside. Now I've clicked on this outside edge. And when I just zoom out a bit, you'll see I've actually got a bounding box around the whole of the outside of the rabbit. So that means I've got that outer edge. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit but I want to try and zoom out enough so that you can see it but that I need to be able to work on it. 
So the first thing I want is this outer edge of the rabbit. So I'm just going to drag it off to one side and you'll now see I've got just the outside shape. And when I select all these other bits, you can see these are all separate parts of, that make up this design. I want to select the outer design, go to edit, go to create an offset, take the spacing down to 0 0.04 and say outward and make sure that create offset line only around the outer edge is selected and say OK. So now I've created this offset line, this bigger line, and that's the one I want. So I'm just going to try and zoom back out a little bit more. So now this bigger offset line is the one that I'm going to weld to this number four. So I'm just overlapping it ever so slightly. So it overlaps here and a little bit here and a little bit on the bottom. I'm going to select both. Try and zoom out a bit more so you can see what I'm doing. So I've just got the outer design of the rabbit and the number four. And I'm going to say edit and weld. And they're going to become one shape. So if I fill that with a colour so you can see, I'll use a pink this time, a deep pink. Because the other one I did in blue. So I've now got that shape. Now I can actually discard this but I'll leave it there for now. What I want to work on now is this rabbit, but again, I'm just going to zoom in in the hope that you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Now I can see when I click on parts of this rabbit that some parts are darker than others. So this section here is, a, is within this space and I don't need it. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move that away and click on it. And his little mouth the same. I just want to leave little gaps. Don't worry about the little bits on his face and his eyes. You may lose the definition in those. And on my original that I've just shown you, I'll just bring it in. I drew the little eyes in and the little whiskers bits on his face with a, a white gel pen. Now the next thing that you want to do I'm just going to try and zoom in a bit more. You need to have gaps between all these sections. So I'm going to select this top part and I'm just going to shrink it down ever so slightly and then just move it because you want a gap between this part and the, and the cheeks if you like. So now I'm going to select these and I'm going to shrink them down small so that I'm creating gaps in between the sections and I'm going to do that with all the sections. Now with the body part I'm just going to see if I can select all these body parts, group them and then shrink them down as a whole and then put them into place, ungroup them and now I'm going to kind of drag them down a bit and spread them out. Now I'm going to select everything, make it a group, I'm going to colour it in a pale pink colour in the hope that you'll see it better and position it on top. Now I'm just going to zoom in on here again so you can see it. So if you look closely now I've got gaps between all the sections and I'm going to just right click and ungroup and I might just move them ever so slightly, again using the arrows on my keyboard, just to create a few more gaps. You might have to tweak them a little bit and you know shrink them down to make them fit individually.
because these bits in the pale pink are the bits that are going to make the definition in the card. These are going to be punched out of this dark pink. So basically what I'm going to do now, just zoom back out a little bit, <clears throat> all the pale pink sections are on top of the dark pink. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to come to edit, subtract and they're going to punch out and that's now given me my frame. So now I want a border around the outside like I showed in my original. So I'll just bring this one in. So what I've created here in pink is the equivalent of this pale blue here. And now I'm going to make, make a solid background for it to sit on. So with it selected, I'm going to come to Edit, Offset. I'm going to make a 0 0.04 outward around the outer edge only and say OK. I'll just make that, I'll select it and make it a paler pink so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll send that to the back. So right click and send to back. So now here's my cutout sat on my solid frame. So if I go fit to mat and I can get rid of the original rabbit, and then if I bring my card in, here's the card. So when I cut this, because I was only cutting it in scraps, when I made the original one, this blue one, I made it so that it would fit on a 5x5 five five card. But when I was cutting this one, my, my demo, I shrunk it down to fit on an A6 card, which is like the equivalent of an A2, I think, in the US. Because I was just cutting this from scratch just for the video. So if you want to shrink it down, you need to select both, right click and make it a group. You'll see it's like 3.75 by 3.92. And then you can just shrink it down until it fits the size of the card you want or make it bigger to fit on a bigger card but make sure that you ungroup it before you download it and send it to your machine and then you can cut it in two separate pieces of card. So <clears throat> that's just a variation using a different font on the card that I showed you several months ago. I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.